Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Kathleen Gallo, and I am the Dean for the Hofstra Northwell School of Nursing and Physician Assistant Studies program. Well, these are unusual times, and this is not exactly how we planned graduation ceremonies to be. We are grateful for the opportunity to celebrate this milestone with all of you. I would like to take this time to congratulate all of our graduates and their parents, spouses, partners, family, and friends on the extraordinary effort that everyone has put in making this graduation possible. The Hofstra Northwell School of Nursing and Physician Assistant Studies is leading the way in preparing future healthcare professionals who have chosen to join the ranks of clinicians who care for our communities no matter what the environment holds for us. The future professionals include the dual degree physician assistant students who graduated with a bachelor's of science in physician assistant studies. This degree conferral completes the second semester of the didactic phase of the program, and now the students will head off to the clinical portion of the program in hospitals and clinical settings throughout the region. Our cardiovascular and perfusion medicine program is graduating its inaugural class. All students have spent hours in both adult and pediatric cardiac surgical operating rooms during the COVID-19 crisis. We are very proud of this inaugural class as they have all been hired well before graduating. Additionally, our school graduated nurse practitioner students and nurses from our registered nurse first assistant program. While these nurses will now use their new knowledge and skills in their new roles as NPs and RNFAs, this class of nurses are the dedicated nurses who are on the front line of the COVID crisis. Day and night, they were caring for their patients, their patients' families, and each other. They also had to prepare for class, complete assignments, and take exams. They not only pursued a very rigorous academic program from day one, but the spring semester has highlighted their strength, resilience, their never give up attitude, and their heroism. They have done such an exceptional job that we were approved to graduate this class early. We are always proud of all our graduating classes year after year, but you, the class of 2020, are a very special class of graduates. We are confident that you will continue to embody the values of our school, courage, collaboration, humanism, leadership, innovation, learning, scholarship, diversity, global health, and excellence. You exemplified courage and humanism and have embraced the commonalities and differences among yourselves, your faculty, the healthcare teams with whom you have practiced with, and our consumers of health. Always remember that you have an awesome responsibility to your school, your workplace, and to society at large. I cannot express the amount of pride that the faculty, staff, and I have for you. One last note though, no one succeeds in a vacuum. Success is a team sport. What you have just successfully completed was no easy feat. Please thank those who have supported you for your academic journey, your family, your friends, colleagues, your community. I also wish to express my gratitude to all of the family, friends, faculty, and colleagues for all the support that you provide our students and our school. I hope each and every one of you can take a little bit of time to celebrate this moment. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce the person who leads our university, President Stuart Rabinowitz. Welcome. I want to extend a welcome to the parents and our faculty and our guests, but most importantly of all, I want to welcome our graduates to this online commencement. When we postponed commencement this past May, we had hoped that we would be able to come together this month in August for a delayed celebration but it has become clear that that plan was not possible. The celebration of your accomplishments and the formal awarding of your degree became even more important and more crucial to us. So the, the final chapter of your college career was not 
what you had imagined or we had imagined it would be. Instead, you found yourself in the middle of this crazy pandemic that cost lives and caused unparalleled upheaval and change in ways that no one could ever have imagined. And of course, we wish it would have been otherwise. But we need to take this opportunity to applaud your strength and your perseverance in completing your degree, which will stand you in good stead as we move beyond this crisis. And even though we are looking forward to your returning to our campus in May 2021 for your opportunity to walk across the stage and celebrate your one year reunion, today, let's take a few moments to formally award your degree and recognize each one of you individually. I will focus my very brief remarks in this complex time on a very simple message. You have earned our congratulations and our admiration. You have worked hard, you have learned well, and you are ready to make your mark on the world. And I urge you to do so. I urge you to be informed and active participants in the democratic process so that you can help your generation in solving the daunting challenges which face our country and our world in the 21st century. Indeed, in my opinion, the world desperately needs your generation to help overcome the challenges which my generation and others have not yet solved, not the least of which is how to save our air and our ocean and indeed our planet for your children and grandchildren, for my three-year-old grandson Jack, his children and his grandchildren. You have already lived through great challenges and thanks to your education, your innate abilities and your hard-earned accomplishments, you are prepared to meet the challenges of tomorrow and to help us through the challenges we face today. So I will close these brief remarks today as I have for all of my years as president, and that is simply by wishing each of our graduates well. I wish that each of you attain all the success that you think you need and all that work and ability earn for you. I wish you will have the perspective to forgive yourself and learn from the mistakes because mistakes are inevitable. I wish you the tenacity, the courage, and frankly, I wish you the good fortune to someday find a life's work about which you feel passionate rather than simply settling for one which neither challenges nor fulfills you. I wish you the very special sense of satisfaction and self-worth that I have found comes only from using at least some of your talent and energy to help those who are in need. And I wish you the wisdom to for not to forego the love of family and friends in a relentless pursuit of material success. And finally, I wish that you not become so preoccupied with achieving some cherished goal on some faraway date that somehow you fail to appreciate each and every day of your life. The class of 2020 leaves here with our admiration and our affection. We enjoyed teaching from you, and indeed we enjoyed learning from you. We hope that you will maintain your ties to your classmates and to your alma mater, and know that from this day forward, your accomplishments will always be the most important driver of the reputation of the value of a Hofstra education. You will always be an important member of the Hofstra University community. Hofstra will always welcome you home. On behalf of the faculty and the administration and the staff, I extend to each of you our heartiest congratulations and our warmest wishes for your success and your happiness. Good luck. And now it's my pleasure and my honor to introduce the fabulous chair of the Hofstra University Board of Trustees, Chairperson Donald Schaefer. Thank you, President Rabinowitz. I would like to take a moment on behalf of the Board of Trustees to congratulate the class of 2020 on your graduation and welcome you, your families, and friends 
to this online celebration of your academic achievement. As President Rabinowitz said, this is not the celebration we envisioned for you. The pandemic changed your senior year suddenly and dramatically, and yet you have responded with grace and gumption. You have overcome the challenges of your final academic year, you have persevered, and you have successfully completed your degree. We hope you will come back and celebrate your one-year reunion and commencement in person in May of 2021. Your class, the class of 2020, will be known for its resilience and determination. We are proud of you and acknowledge the hard work and dedication that you have displayed in reaching this wonderful day. We hope that you will follow your passions and are confident that your future will be exemplary. Please know that Hofstra will always be here for you as you go forward. You are an important part of the enduring bond of the Hofstra family, and we look forward to your leadership role in providing guidance and support to the Hofstra students who will be following in your footsteps. Because today we are celebrating your accomplishments online, I can't give each of you my customary handshake as you receive your well-earned degree. So instead, I give you my virtual handshake on a job well done. Congratulations. Where minds are filled with wonder and hearts are full of pride, there stands our alma mater, so radiant to shine. Nurturing thy scholars, like parents raise their young. Dear Hofstra, we are grateful, and thus we thank thee for inspiring us and guiding us through all the great unknown. Oh, hail the blue and gold. Unrivaled motivation, invaluable and true. Selfless with thy knowledge and vision to pursue. Through all the lands we journey, thou shalt remain our home. Dear Hofstra, we are grateful, and thus we thank thee for inspiring us and guiding us through all the great unknown. Oh, hail the blue and gold. Now, I'd like to introduce our Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Herman Berliner for the conferral of your degrees. Thank you, Dean. Mr. President, I have the honor to present all the candidates who have completed all the requirements for the degrees Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Science in Education, and Bachelor of Engineering as appropriate. Together with their dean and faculty, I recommend that you confer the appropriate baccalaureate degree upon these candidates. Graduates, by virtue of the power invested in me by the trustees of Hofstra University and by the regents of the state of New York, and upon the recommendations of your provost and your respective deans and your faculties, I am proud to confer upon you the degree Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science in Education, and Bachelor of Engineering, as appropriate. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Abigail L. Kanaletich. Rachel Cardinal. Rachel Dow. Courtney M. Gallagher. Justina James. Dahlia Yazid Jawabra. 
Renee Jean Lacoot, Lauren Nicole Lacey, Courtney Lau, Michaela Lynn Lamello, Laura Julia Lasco, Asma Malik. Eva Matthew, Rianne JC Medell, Nupur Meta, Michaela Roberts, Christina Ann Saji, Tara Ann Sheffis. Eleni Skonsos, Gina So, Ashley Elizabeth Smetana, Stanley Bargi, Beverly Barugi, Antonella Bigliotti. Zachary Michael Yingling. Mr. President, I have the honor to present all the candidates who have completed all the requirements for the degrees of Master of Science, Master of Arts, Master of Science in Education, Master of Health Administration, Master of Business Administration, Master of Fine Arts, Master of Public Health, and advanced certificates as appropriate. Together with their dean and faculty, I recommend that you confer the appropriate master's degree upon these candidates. Graduates, by virtue of the power vested in me by the trustees of Hofstra University and by the regents of the state of New York, and upon the recommendations of the provost and your respective deans and faculties, I am proud to confer upon you the, the degrees Master of Science, Master of Arts, Master of Science in Education, Master of Health Administration, Master of Business Administration, Master of Fine Arts, and Master of Public Health degrees, and advanced certificates as appropriate. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Jean Aguila. Fareshta Azizi. Shira Bass. Destiny Latoya Bernard. John Paul Talmage Kajigas. Genesis Castro. Christina Marie Cuzo. Craig Davidson. Joellen Alves de Oliveira. Catrice Ann Delaney. Kalsang Dickey. Talia R. Ice. Vanessa Susanna Elliott. Sasha Catalina Espinal. Tammy L. Favaro. Ruby Garzen. Bindu Sharian George. Pamela Lauren Gore. Caroline May Goss. Linda Rachel Grimm. Michelle Lisa Welfi. Stephen Airbay. Kate Pony. Janice Jacob. Fahimir Danielle Jean Baptiste. Linda Joni. Stephen Anthony Jones. Lorraine Marie Kennedy. J. 
Jeanette Lee, Joan Catherine Mahoney, Lisa Maniatis Fitting, Samantha Lynn Marinaro, Christy Matthew, Aaron Rose May, Karen K. McDonald, Jennifer Ashley Meyer, Lauren Ashley Mirabile, Jessica Maria Mangeli, Shiva Mashtag. Alexandra Napo, Philip Nara, Ashley Lynn Nipa, Stephanie Ortiz, Natachaley Denod Oscar, Charles Pearson, Beata Podgorski. Louise Ann Purcell, Christopher Matthew Reyes, Ross Matthew Ryman, Renee Rodriguez, Robert Steve Santana, Yamil Santana. Crystal M. Santiago, Dylan Sharepitch, Brian Senajor, Frederick Clarence Shields, Jennifer Eileen Seedy, Brianne Catherine Smith. Marguerite Socho, Alexandra Elizabeth Steinman, Lorianne Stevens, Colleen Stubbs, Lindsay Swartz, Jessica Trentacost. Edison Teeley, Vanessa Lynn Orr, Sini Varghese, Gabrielle Lucia Ward, Mary Rose Waters, Althea Webster Samuda. Blair Whitley, Don Hong Yang. Thanks, class of 2020. The times may be uncertain, but one thing is certain. You have met this extraordinary moment and taught us all about resilience, strength, and yes, Hofstra pride and purpose. We are so pleased that you are now joining an alumni community that is more than 140,000 strong spread across all 50 states and more than 100 countries. And we are looking forward to welcoming you back to campus for a live in-person ceremony in May 2021 that will be all your own. And now, bachelor's degree recipients, to make this graduation ceremony complete, please move your tassel from right to left. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations! Congratulations. Congratulations.